welcome back. So today, me and Mickey, he's not in the car at the moment, but me and Mickey are on our way to London. We are going to the Westfields in Stanford. I think that's where it is. Because me and Hannah, if you didn't see that video when we went to London, I'll put the link above. We went to the Uxbridge Westfields and unfortunately, yeah, we went to the wrong one and we thought because obviously we wanted to go to the big primark obviously that doesn't have a primark even though their website did say there was a primark but apparently it's not open until the end of the month and a lot of you pugs have said we should have went to the stanford one so you know we're going there today that was the primark um or the westfields we were meant to go to because obviously that has the big primark and mickey's been there before and he said it was really really good and he's even excited because he's going to be getting some new like clothes for summer as well and i'm so excited because you know some of the london stores have a lot of the blogger fa faves that you see in like all the magazines and things and like on instagram so i'm hoping that i'll be able to find some of them that i've seen on other like youtubers like um videos where they're like oh look at this really nice jumpsuit or you know pair of heels and i know that our store in norwich will never ever get them in so i'm so excited because i can get some of these blogger faves and also i can take you guys around the westfields primark and yeah i'm so excited and then after me and mickey are gonna go and grab some lunch so yeah i'm so excited about this so we're now on the move again i was stuck in the car for like an hour while mickey was pricing up that job but here's mickey he's just driving at the moment so yeah he's got to be careful so yeah we're now on our way to the westfields in stanford Stratford. Stratford. See, I told you I was saying that wrong. It's Stratford. This is why she ended up in Uxbridge last week. <laughs> Mickey says that this Jeep in front, which says wide load, is in front of us because of my big butt. Thanks, Mickey. A few moments later. So, guys, we're now coming off the motorway and arriving into London. So, we're heading towards Westfields in Stratford. So, yeah, so excited. I'm in the ladies section in Primark and it is massive. It's like this shop is like a mini Primark Mall. It literally is so big. So you guys can have a look about how massive it is. We literally are just in one corner of this shop. Because I saw these empty eyeshadow palettes in Love Primark and they just have them. But I've come to this one and they've got the palettes and there's also got the individual eyeshadows. So you basically pick your different colours you want to make up like your own palette. So I'm gonna go for the big palette which can hold nine different shades. So that is where is it? This big palette here, she can hold nine different shades, so I'm gonna choose my nine now. So Pax, me and Mickey finally a 
arrived home but that was yesterday it's just that we got home so late i couldn't finish the rest of the video so i thought i'd do it today where i will be a little bit more awake because when we arrived home yesterday i was so so tired so i'm going to show you everything i bought from primark i ended up spending 300 pounds some of it i did spend on things for mickey and then also a couple of things for someone special but you're gonna have to wait to see them in another video that is coming very very soon i actually have molly with me today she's sitting on my lap so i'm gonna have to keep bending down to grab all the clothes off the floor because usually i usually put them on my lap but she's refusing to sit on the floor she wants to sit on my lap bless her but i'm gonna try and show as many clothes as i can without this video being too long so the first items i bought from primark were some belts so i bought this red waist belt for four pounds and i thought this would look quite nice with like a plain white shirt and then with this belt wrapped around will add a little bit more colour and detail. I then also bought, which I've been looking everywhere for, because and luckily they only had one left in this um the Stratford Primark. And I only saw this just by chance. It was like hanging off like a random like shelf. And this was only four pounds as well. I had that obviously they only had this one left and it was size large, so it's quite big, but I guess I can cut it down. But it's their Gucci dupe belt, and everyone's been going on about this on Instagram. And I found finally I managed to get myself get my hands on one of these. So I'm really happy about that. For four pounds, I think it would look quite nice with yet again a nice shirt or around a dress. Some of these belts are gonna go really well with some of the dresses I actually got from Primark. I then also get, got this belt, it was three pounds, and on the label it says it's a jean belt, but I guess you can wear this as a waist belt as well. It's just a plain belt, black belt, but then it has like this silver hoop that hangs on the front. And I just thought that is quite something like different than a normal kind of like plain belt. I also got, as you saw in a little clip earlier, what are you doing, Molly? I don't know what she's doing. She's not deciding if she actually wants to stay on my lap or not now. But as you saw in a little clip earlier, I actually managed to get my hands on one of the PS custom palette, like build your own eyeshadow palettes. And I saw this palette in another Primark that I went to in London, near um, the Westfields, near Uxbridge. Unfortunately, they only had the palettes, so I was thinking, oh my goodness, hopefully my Primark will get these in soon so I can see, like, you know, all the custom eyeshadows. And luckily, the one in Stratford, as you saw earlier, had the palettes and also the individual eyeshadows. So the nine palette one is three pounds and then you can also get a four palette one which was two pounds i think two pounds or one pound fifty i'm not quite sure but i went for the nine palette one and then i chose like my nine individual eyeshadows and these were only like 60p each which is quite big which is quite good because like i was explaining to mickey sometimes you can buy eyeshadow palettes for like eight pounds but you'll only like most of the time use two or three shades so even though like this comes to roughly about eight pounds for the palette and the nine shades at least they're ones that i'll actually use because i got to choose them but then also when you use up the shades you don't then have to go and buy a whole new palette again so these are the nine shades that i chose so the first one is a gold digger the second one was stardust the third one is called striped then we also have firecracker absolutely love that color also the color earth smoking smoking hat and ice and i thought that was quite a nice silvery color i've never seen a color like that before also burnt and i thought that was such a pretty color also and then finally this one is called vermilion and i thought that was quite a different shade it's like a really like pinky orangey so yeah i'm really looking forward to trying all of them shades oh just dropped them on molly's head I then also bought these dangly feather earrings and they were only two pounds, which I thought was a bargain. I then also got, which is another bargain, is this choker set. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six chokers for only three pounds. So here they are. And I just think these are gonna look really nice in the summer 
with different dresses and crop tops and I guess you can like multi wear these as well you don't obviously just have to wear one you could wear like two or three maybe I also bought their contour and highlight kit which everyone's been raving about apparently this is like a Kim Kardashian dupe and this was eight pounds moving on to the clothes the first item I bought was this really nice strappy dress really nice pink with like tropical flowers on and butterflies and then the top has like this little keyhole bit and then you have like this really nice tie up detail and this was only six pounds and i just thought six pounds that's a bargain for six pounds i thought it was gonna be like ten pounds i also bought these skinny jeans just like a nice khaki green color i don't usually go for things like this but i thought this would look quite nice in the summertime with a white top with like matching white heels so one side has a pocket and then on the other leg you have another pocket with a zip up detail so basically just a pair of like skinny khaki jeans these were 15 pounds so guys i bought in the pajama section this cami top and it's like a really nice pinky like salmon color and it was five pounds i'm not actually going to wear it as a pajama top i'm going to wear it as an everyday normal top good tip for you guys a lot of cami tops i find are always like 15 to 20 pounds and i just think all it is is just a strappy like top and then you go into like the underwear section, PJ section, and they have exactly the same kind of tops in there, but the material is like more silky, so it's a bit more elegant, a bit more feminine, Fem feminine, feminine, can't say that, another has dictionary words. So a good tip for you guys is check out some of like the cami tops in like the PJ section, a pair of skinny jeans with that top is going to look so nice. I also bought one of these like dungaree dresses, but it's like a distressed one. And this was only £12, which yet again is such a bargain. Because, you know, going to crop, sh crop shop, top shop, I've seen them in there for like £40. I also then got this like midi dress. This was £10 and it's like, if I can untangle everything, it's like this brown with like black and white stripes. And it's not adjustable straps, but it fit quite nicely. And it also has like this split at the bottom. It's not too high and it's not too like short the split where it just looks like it's being ripped. But it comes with like this little string where you can tie it up. But I think I'm going to take that off and put my own belt, maybe like that Gucci like dupe belt with this. I think will look really nice. So yeah, £10 absolutely love this dress the material of it is so so nice and it's a really nice bright color the camera doesn't do this dress justice it's like buttoned up to the top to the bottom and it does have a tie up bit at the back so i guess if you tie it up you can have a like tighter fitting or if you tie it looser you can have it as like a loose like dress but this was 10 pounds the straps aren't adjustable but it seemed to fit really nice and they did have it in another color similar to the color that's on this dress but for 10 pounds i thought that was such a bargain because i can see this being in like zara for like triple the price i then also got a pair of red plimsolls these were only eight pounds I then also got this t-shirt, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep now, but I don't know if you've seen these t-shirts, like, in fashion at the moment, like, with, like, some have seashells on the front, some have love hearts, some have other odd things, but this was the Primax version, and this was only £4. I then also got this yellow top, and I think this is such a bargain. This was only £6, but you can obviously wear that on the shoulder or off the shoulder, and then I guess you could also tie up the bottom and then have it as like a crop top. So for £6, you can wear this in three different styles. Mickey chose these because he said he really, likes, really liked them. And it's a pair of like shorts. These were £12. And they have like this really nice lace up detail hair, which is quite nice because usually I don't go for like black shorts or black jeans. But because that has this little detail hair, I think it makes it look quite nice, quite different than just a pair of black shorts. But they have these like really nice skinny like trousers in there and they like ankle length. But it's like a really nice stretchy material and they had other patterns, but I like this one. It's like a navy blue with like white and like pink flowers on 
and these were only seven pounds and i thought with a pair of my like white vans and a white crop top this will look really nice in the summertime but then also in the winter you could wear this with a really nice pair of boots and a really nice baggy jumper so you can wear this in the summer or the winter this cardigan was 16 pounds reduced five pounds so it's like this big baggy like cardigan but the sleeves aren't too long and they're not too short so it's quite nice in the summertime like sometimes the evenings can be quite cool so you can wear this with like jeans shorts dresses tops and yeah i love like the lace well not the lace a tassel detail at the bottom but then i also thought you could wear this as an actual top like if you wrap this round because it's quite big you could wrap it round and then put a belt round it, like maybe that red belt I showed you earlier and then wear it as a top with like some jeans and a pair of heels. Thought that was quite a good idea. These patterns seem to be in fashion at the moment, like the stripy patterns and this kind of material, it's like potato sack material, but it actually feels quite nice in a potato sack. It's not itchy, it's really nice and it's got a really nice stretchy band. And the straps aren't adjustable, but it still fitted quite nice yet again. And this was only £8, and they did have it in, like, a grey colour. But I'm trying to go for different colours that aren't so, like, neutral. I want to try and go for some nice bright colours this summertime, especially so I can have some nice Instagram photos. I then also bought this strapless dress, and this was £13. And it's a button-up one, and then it has, like, this kind of, like, corset stretched, like top bit and then the arms have this like white floral embroidery and they kind of flare out at the end but my idea of wearing this was obviously i'm gonna wear it with maybe a pair of shorts or skinny jeans but i'm gonna keep the buttons undone and then keep them like undone up until the waistband bit if that makes sense i'm gonna undo them all up to the waistband and then have this bit like all opened up so you've got i don't know if you can visualize that a nice belt with a pair of shorts and then this floaty bit coming out at the bottom but maybe i can do a try on haul of some of my outfits some of my ideas for these um outfit ideas for some of these clothes um in another video if you'd like me to do that just comment down below i then also and i thought this was such a bargain this was only 12 pounds and it's basically, it looks like a maxi dress, but it actually isn't. It has these three buttons here that do up, but then this bit like opens up. So you could wear this, like my idea with that dress, this is how you would wear this one, obviously. You'd either wear it with like no top underneath with some jeans or some shorts, or you could even still wear that with a top underneath and have it maybe undone or just still done up but without a top underneath but i thought that was so nice the material was so so lovely it feels such good fabric and then also i bought this crop top this was four pounds eight and it has this really nice floral embroidery and i was thinking of wearing this with these corlettes i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but you guys did tell me in the other video how to say it but i've literally forgotten already but yeah, I thought that would look really nice with these. And these were only £13. This bikini set. And the top was £2. And then the bottoms were £2 also. So it was another one of their fantastic £4 bikini sets. But then the last item that I bought were these sliders. So I wasn't quite sure about these. But then I thought, you know, get out your comfort zone and try something different. So there's these blue kind of suede sliders. And then they have like these like tassel like pom-poms on. Because tassels and pom-poms and stripes seem to be in fashion at the moment. So yeah, these were only £8. And they're actually really comfy. So I also bought a couple of other things that obviously were for Mickey. And then a couple of other things that I bought for someone special. But you'll find out about that in another video very, very soon. So yeah, that is all my haul. Comment down below what was your favourite item. So if you like this video guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also if you're new to my channel, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button down below to become a pugster. Because I do three videos a week, every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, and occasional bonus video. And today the hashtag be a pugster shout out goes to 
three special sisters and they are Tanisha, Sasha and Maya. So if you would like a hashtag be a pugster shout out, all you need to do is look in the description box on how to get one and also I'll be doing the hashtag birthday pugster shout out soon. So if you have a birthday this month, all you need to do is comment down below when your birthday is this month and you might get the next hashtag birthday pugster shout out. So from me and Molly today, I hope you all have a puggalicious weekend and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye! Say bye! bye.